Hi guys, it's Gabby. I was like, that. Hi guys, it's Gabby. Today I'm going to be doing a really cool video. I'm going to be doing a science experiment. And it's, I brought my brother along with me because he hasn't done this before. So I thought it'd be really cool to show you from someone's point of view who hasn't done it. So yeah, um, I did a science experiment in my science class because we have something called Student Government Day in our school and you get to teach in a class. Um, so I taught science and I taught this experiment and we, there's two projects and it's really, really simple. So let's get started. So this is what the first project looks like. So step number one is you're going to get a cup and you're going to want to pour mango juice in it. Um, we're using mango juice. We poured it in the plastic bottle just for the for my class. But you can just pour about that much, the whole entire thing, or like half of the cup. And yeah, that's the first step. The second step is to get dry ice. Now, what dry ice? Dry ice looks like this. Try it. And I got this um, really close by, like literally two minutes away from my house. It's really cold, and you actually have to keep it in a cooler. That way it'll be fine. Just don't refrigerate it. Just try not to. Just try and keep it in a cooler. And it's not that expensive. It's like for a big block, like the size of this, maybe bigger, is like $15 or something. And yeah, so we're going to use that. And also be sure to have gloves on. Show them your glove because it might burn your hand. So yeah. But it's also really safe, though. It's not that harmful. Also know that it does shrink overnight as you leave it, so try and get it the day before your project. So grab a piece. Not too big, Ethan. And put it in. Go. Ethan, really? Put it in on in the... No. Oops. <laughs> Save luck. And you can actually... It's safe to touch. It's completely safe to touch. Whoa, this is so... It feels, it feels like nothing. Yeah, it feels like nothing. It's so cool, though. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, it's really cool, and it's, like, so amazing. Look how cool that is. And basically, it'll continue to going until the ice cube melts. Careful, the drink will spill out. Okay. But, yeah. Can I do Next, you're going to want to get for the second experiment is to get a cup, and you're going to want to fill it with water. I tried it with cold water, room temperature water, and hot water or warm water, and it works the same. So just get water, and the next step is you're going to want to get soap. So here's a soap, and you can just drizzle like dish soap and drizzle it on top. Go ahead. Like a lot. Like, like I'll show you when to stop. No, you got to like... I've never done this before. Like that. Right. Perfect. So once you get the water and the soap, you're going to want to take your dry ice, once again, using the glove. So go ahead. Okay. Don't pick the biggest one. Just try it. Just pick a random one. I said not to pick the biggest one. <laughs> you don't follow direction. Pick like a medium one. No, pick that one right there. No, that one's so small. Pick that one. Oh, yeah? No, that one right there. Yeah, it's perfect. Plop it in. Go ahead. And then, as you're continuing, put food, do food, food, food dye. And go ahead, grab it, grab it. Grab it with your hand. You can take the glove out like this. Oh. Yeah, grab it. It pops. That's cool. Oops, sorry. You have, to, you have to pop it with your hand. Here, you record a second. Oh, I get it. Oh, this is, this is cool. Look, see? Like I this. know how to do it. Oops. But yeah. Oh, get that one. It turned into nothing. Exactly, it turned into fog. Pop that one. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. I know I have a green thumb. That was a bad joke, sorry. Okay, tell them about your experience. Oh, my answer intervened. Well, duh, because he overused it, but was it fun? Yeah. Was it? Well, talk to the camera, dude. Yeah, it was fun. On the right from a 1 to a 10? 9.5. Wow, pretty good. Say like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe.